channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm just a girl who likes reading romance, fantasy romance, paranormal romance, any kind of genre of romance in general. And I also happen to have cerebral palsy and it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. Happy Wednesday. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today's video is going to be a five recent reads video where I talk about my five recent reads fantasy and paranormal romance edition. I've been reading a lot of fantasy and paranormal romance books this week so I thought I'd talk about them. Halfling by S.E. Wendell. I read this because of B from Mama Needs to Read Romance. It's a fantasy monster romance and I really liked it. I and the audiobook was so so good. I listened to the audiobook on Audible. Falling Auric, who is a half orc, half human. So that's why he's called Halfling, and he lives in his orc tribe, and the orcs don't treat him very good because he is a Halfling. His mother um, stayed with the orcs for a while because she was a slave, but left the orc village because she knew if she would stay with the new ruler, she would die. But Oric wanted to go with her, and she refused to take him. So when a human shows up being a slave for, for the new ruler, Oric decides to help her escape. Her name is Storsha. Sorsha and Oric go on this destination journey to try to get Sorsha back home. But along the way, along the way through their journey, they fall in love. And Oric knows Sorsha is his fated mate. But how can he expect Sorsha love all of him when his mother abandoned him to the orcs? So he has a hang up about that. Meanwhile, Sorsha is also falling for Oric, but she has a lot of responsibility towards her family. It is spicy like i wasn't expecting all all the spice like the the first half was all sweet and fun but once they confess their feelings toward each other they it starts to get really spicy and i wasn't expecting that but it was so good the narrator did such a good job i really like the audiobook Midnight of Ashes, which is the sequel to Twilight of Embers by Tessa Hale. It, yeah, since it's a book two, I really can't say much about it, but book two, Midnight of Ashes, follows the events of book one, Twilight of Embers. And we follow Hayden, with he, who is starting to become a doctor because she wants to become a doctor because of what happened with her parents' stuff. She grew up in the foster care system. And then she meets Knox, Easton, Killian, Maddox, Caleb are in a 
my two's relationship, they are dragon shifters. Hayden finds out she's a dragon shifter. And they have their romance. And it follows the events of book one. Book two has, has more of the dragon council, more of the dragons, more of the relationships between Hayden and the guys. The other two guys start to soften around Hayden, like Easton and Maddox. And it's just a continuation, Midnight of Ashes. But I have to say, I love... I loved book one, but I also, I think I like book two a, li a little bit better. I love both of them, but I love this Why Choose Paranormal Romance Dragon Shifter series so much. Yeah, it was so good. I also listened to the audiobook on Audible, Blood and Steel, and we follow a Athena, who wants to become a warrior for her kingdom because she has this prophecy that she will die at tw the age of 27. So she only has three years to become a warrior. She wants to be memorable. She wants to do something with her life. And in this country, women, women are not allowed to become warriors because of a certain prophecy. But, but Athena, Athena, she secretly trains with her sword so she can become a, a warrior. But then, but then an actual warrior named Wilder sees her taking up arms and she brings her to the guild master so they can decide her, her fate. And the librarian, who is the woman who used to be a warrior before the whole prophecy thing started, vouches for her so Athena is allowed to train to become a warrior under uh, Wilder's um, watch. And it's her journey to become a warrior. Also knowing that she has this prophecy above her head and she has a romance with Wilder, and I really liked it. I listened to the audiobook on Everett. Trial of the Sun Queen. It's about this girl named Lore, and she, she and her siblings are in a prison in their kingdom. And one day, Lore gets taken away from the prison and she goes to the sun the sun kingdom and she is to told if she wants her freedom she has to fight for the hand of the prince if she wants to get away from her previous kingdom and she wants to and if she wants to free her siblings. But uh, Laura competes in the trials. The girls start disappearing. They start dying. So everything is not what it seems. But Laura has no choice but to compete in these trials. I won't spoil it. You have to read the book to find out. Even though this book was really predictable, I really had a good time. It's called Shattered Kingdom. I read this because of Jess from Honest Fiction, and I listened to the audiobook on Everend. And I'm not going to pronounce the, the heroine's name because I cannot pronounce it without the audiobook. The heroine is lives 
in a place called the Order where she is. She is a warrior and she's not allowed to fall in love and stuff like that. Because when you're with the Order, you're supposed to devote yourself to the goddess. And one day, the king or the king's chancellor breaks her out of the order and tells her, you have to come with us to rescue the prince from a neighboring kingdom because the prince is kidnapped. And if you help me with this task, you will get whatever wish you want and the heroine's wish is to be reunited with her family so the heroine agrees to rescue the the prince she gets to the neighboring kingdom to try to find the prince but when she gets there everything is not what it seems like her enemies that they told her are supposed to be bad isn't bad so she doesn't know what to believe but she has to free the prince in order to save her family and i really liked it it was so twisty i knew something was not as it seemed to be because I really liked the characters I wasn't supposed to like. Um, but I really liked it. It was really good. Those are all the five recent reads I read recently. Fantasy and, Paran and Paranormal Romance Edition. Please let me know if you have read any of these books. I would love to know. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me. And I'll see ya Friday. Bye.